Hello all, this is a tutorial for Transformer Calc. This is a application for iOS. Uh, it runs on iPad, iPhone, and iPod. It is also a universal app, so a single purchase will allow you to run it on all your devices. So let's get right into it. When you first come in, the first thing you're going to want to do in this app, before you do any kind of Transformer calculations, is you're going to want to go down to this little wrench, which will pull up the settings screen. Um, and you're going to want to set what code version you're using. So in Canada, you're going to want to put it on the latest Canadian code, and in US, you're going to want to put it on the latest US code. Once you have that set, then you can get right into it. Um, this bottom bar, it's the first thing we're going to cover. This is where you manage all your transformers. So right now, this entire screen is showing you a single transformer and its calculation, um, but you can manage many transformers. Uh, this little icon I just clicked will bring up your transformer list. You can select your transformer you, were, you want to work on and this will automatically adjust and you'll see the name up here to, to let you know that this is the transformer you're working with. To add a new transformer you simply hit the plus button. It will tell you you're adding a new transformer and the name will come up as new transformer which you might want to change right away. Then to delete a transformer you just select the transformer, transformer you want to delete and you hit the trash can. It'll come up with a warning. Uh, hit yes, unless you made a mistake. And it will delete it and go to another transformer. So that's pretty much that bar in a nutshell. If So let's select TX1 and get started on doing a calculation. So the first section, um, basically the screen is split into three sections. So you have your top section, which shows your name of your transformer. This is the specs of your transformer. And then you have your primary results in the first column and your secondary results down the second column. So I set this one up for 600 to 208 75 kVA transformer. Your third setting you can actually also change to solve for primary FLA or secondary FLA. So you might be looking for what size of transformer to use. So you can go to primary FLA and type in that you want 115 amps on your primary and solve for KVA. So let's go back to KVA, put it back to 75. Over here you can turn secondary fusing on if you so desire. So if you're going to have uh, overcurrent protection on your primary and secondary, you can turn this on. It will um, seriously affect your maximum percentages on your primary especially. I'll put it on right now and you'll see that your uh, now that you have secondary fusing, you can put your primary fusing up to 300% in this scenario. Let's turn it back off. Uh, OC% percent when choking, that will allow you to work for different kinds of loads, like a heating load, you might want to put that up to 100%. Um, other loads, you might want to put it down to 80 You can actually adjust this to whatever you want. Um, yeah, that's that. So in your third thing is your configuration of your transformer. This is only important for your number of wires in the pipe. So you'll want to set this so that the app will know how many wires to put in the pipe and size the conduit accordingly. Um, you can also set this to single phase if you go all the way over to the, uh, to the right. Let's go back to delta to y, common configuration. And then your third uh, setting is dry and non-dry. Non-dry being like an oil-filled type transformer. You will also notice if you go into high voltage, which is over 750 in Canada and over 1,000 in the US. As soon as you do that, an impedance rating will come up, which um, you need to type in the impedance rating off the transformer to get proper results. Uh, for now, we'll stay to low voltage. Also in the US, a uh, supervised um, setting will come up to allow you to set it to a supervised situation or non. Okay, so now let's go down to our results. Um, the first thing to note in the results is the color coding. Um, everything in red is a calculated result. It is a number that you cannot change. You can click on it all you want, it can happen. Uh, black is a calculated result right now, but it is modifiable. So you will be able to tweak your transformers, choke them down, uh, change wire types, change um, to copper to aluminum wire, uh, adjust parallel runs, and so forth. And you will notice as soon as you do that, so say we don't want number one wire, we want to up it a bit. As soon as we go to one out, 
when you change a result, a calculated result, it will turn green to show that it is has been modified by you and it is not calculated by the app anymore. Uh, there's exceptions to that. I mean, wire type because it will just stay black because it's mo it's not resettable. You'll notice that uh, since this is a calculated result, this one on I can go to menu and I can go to reset and it will reset it back to black and put it back to the wire size. Oh, you'll notice question number two because we're on 90 now. A uh, handy part of this is to choke down your transformer. So you might want to um, change your fusing here to 60 amp. And you'll notice as soon as I do that, everything recalculates wire size, pipe size, everything. And it'll show green on my fuse and breaker to show that I have modified it. I am now choking down the transformer. Uh, another handy option is to actually change the load demand. So you might have a 40 amp load. So you can put your 40 amps in here as your load. And it will completely recalculate uh, to choke this transformer down appropriately to that load. Uh, let's just reset it. Get us back to our normal calculation. Now your next part, you'll um, notice your wire. Now in this portion, it will show you your maximum opacity of the selected wire, just for convenience. So you can double check the results. And you know, if this is a very close number to your, to your fusing or your uh, full load amps, you might want to tweak the wire sizing a little. Under this is parallel runs. For example, this is 300 MCM right now. We might want to go with parallel run. That will instantly change this to one of it. So that'll be two runs of one out now. Uh, you can change your wire type you're using. Uh, actually, you'll see it gave us a warning there. Um, because the CEC doesn't allow uh, parallel runs smaller than one out, it's giving us a warning. It'll allow you to calculate that, but it will warn you that one out is not permitted and will give you the appropriate code rule as well 12108. Um, then you have your bottom size, your ground size, uh, those are calculated values that you can't change. When you get down to conduit, you can change the size of the conduit. For example, over in the primary here, you'll see it's uh, recommending inch and a quarter or 35 mil for you metric guys. It's showing you that your transformer you selected requires three wires, which is your delta transformer, and the maximum an inch and a quarter conduit can handle is three. So this is a case where you might want to up it to inch and a half, right? As soon as you do that, it will turn green and it will show you that uh, now you can fit five wires. So it'll give you a little more room for make the pull a little easier maybe. Then under that is your wire type and of course all the wire types are supported. These are the Canadian wire types but of course American wire types come up if you go to the NEC. I'll leave that in T90 for now. Um, you're going to keep getting this uh, parallel warning until you fix that. Okay, and that's about it. Now, once you have your calculations done and you want to do something with these results other than just calculate, you can go to your main menu and you can either email. This will email the single result that you're looking at on the screen. Um, you can email as a CSV. CSV is a common around separated value, so it'll allow you to bring it back into a spreadsheet. Um, this will email all your transformers as a spreadsheet compatible file. So you'll bring, be able to bring a whole schedule of transformers into, a, um, into Excel or Numbers or whatever spreadsheet you're using. Emails PDF will email the exact screen you're looking at as a PDF file. So you might want to send that to a guy in the field or back to a guy in the shop or whatever. And it will show this exact screen. Print will allow you to print the exact screen you're looking at. Um, right from your device if you have an AirPrint compatible printer. Help will take you to our website where you can email us for help and video tutorial is obviously the video tutorial you're looking at right now will take you there. Um, the only other thing to mention in this app is for convenience in the upper right there is a calculator. And it's actually a, this is a standalone app we sell as well. It's a pretty robust calculator. Um, it has uh, 10 different memory locations, so you can actually do calculations and store them in these memory locations. This whole top red bar is your memory. 
It also um, works in feet and inches and, and, and uh, metric distances. Very handy for um, dividing up a room for lighting or whatever you need to do. Also really handy just for um, doing conversions. So I can go 125 feet in here and I can press meter and it will instantly convert to meters. Um, also good for scaling drawings. Yeah, um, lo lots of things. Um, to enter numbers, you simply go 25 feet and then you can add your inches onto that. So say go six inches. And then you can even add your fractional inches. So let's say three sixteenths and that will give you a full uh, imperial measurement. And at this point you can put it into memory. You can convert it to meters. You can do whatever you want. Um, the display button up at the, down at the bottom will allow you to change the top of this display from the memory display to the settings display and to the history. History is just going to show you what you're typing in. And this, this is just here, here for convenience. It's um, none, You can't really calculate transformers from here, but you can do a lot of other stuff with it without leaving our app, which is nice. And last thing is settings. So um, we already went through the code version, get that in the right position. You'll see if I go to NEC, everything will change to NEC automatically. Now we have a supervised location. Um, now we need to go over a thousand volts to get to our impedance. Also, you'll notice all the, uh, the conduit types have, cha uh, have come up. And you'll notice all the wire types are now American, well, US. And you'll notice temperatures are all also in Fahrenheit now as well as Celsius. Um, a lot of difference, so make sure you got that code set right. The next is calculator. Um, if you're using a measuring tape, you'll probably want to set the uh, precision of the calculator to 1 16th, but if you're doing something else, you might want to go up to 64ths, make it a little more accurate. Um, what this does is if you put it on 16ths, you won't get results in 64ths, so it'll round it to the nearest 16th. Decimal precision you'll want to leave high just for accurate results, but you can put it down low if you're Calculating money, you might want to put it to a two decimal place. Uh, lock denominator will always show 16ths. It won't round your denominator or 64ths. If I'm in 64ths and I have lock denominator on, it'll always show my result in 64ths. Uh, include yards is pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you don't work in yards, then leave it off and it'll put it in feet. Uh, button sound is the uh, feedback. When you press a button, you hear a little click. The next section is your sp spreadsheet export. This is when you export your CSV file. Um, if you export it with all of this stuff on, you're going to get a massive spreadsheet. So you might want to turn it to a compact size if you have a regular printer. And you can uh, selectively turn off certain sections to not be included in your spreadsheet. Also, right now, in default, it's going to put your transformers horizontally. You can change that to vertical. So it prints the other way. Anyway, really handy to get uh, all your results out to a proper spreadsheet format. And that is about it. So I hope you enjoy our app and you recommend it to your friends. All right, we'll talk to you later. That's it.